gonna show you guys how to make four really simple oil-free dressings. These are the four that I use all the time. This has been like one of the most requested videos, so I'm finally getting to it. All right, so for the first dressing, it's the one that you guys see me use most often, and that's because it is the laziest dressing to make. And it's basically just equal parts of maple syrup and Dijon mustard. So all I do is squeeze some Dijon into this little mason jar. And then I'm just gonna add an equal amount of maple syrup and shake it up. And it is literally so delicious. It almost tastes like a honey mustard dressing without the honey. And then to change it up, I'll add like a pinch of smoked paprika and it makes it this really yummy, smoky Dijon dressing. And it's really good on steamed greens, on salad, as well as asparagus. I love it on asparagus and roasted artichoke as well. I just shake it up really good and you have this beautiful dressing and it's really tasty. Okay, so another one of my favorite dressings is with hummus and I am not somebody that loves making my own hummus. So I buy this oil free one by Engine 2 and as far as I know, you can only get it at Whole Foods, but feel free to make your own. So I'm just gonna take a couple tablespoons and put it into a jar. And I will write down the proportions of everything in the description box below for you guys. So I've got about three tablespoons of hummus in here and I'm gonna add one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And then I like to add the juice of half of a lemon. And then one to two tablespoons of maple syrup. You can also use medjool dates and blend it up. I like mine to be a little tart, so I'm only gonna use about one tablespoon of maple syrup, but two will sweeten it up great. Just my old jelly jars. And this makes a really tasty, kind of savory dressing. And alternately, I like to, instead of adding lemon juice, if I have oranges laying around, I'll put in some orange juice. And it is so good over greens with orange segments or grapefruit segments. It's a really light dressing. Okay, this next dressing is my kid's favorite. It's a strawberry basil lime dressing. So I'm just gonna take like a heaping cup of fresh strawberries. You can use frozen that you've thawed as well. And I'm just gonna put it in this little magic bullet blender I have. And to this, I'm gonna add half the juice of a lime. Half the, I'm gonna add half the juice of a lime. I'm gonna add the, wait. I'm gonna add the juice of half a lime. God, that was really hard. And then to sweeten this one, again, you can use maple syrup, but I'm gonna actually use a medjool date. Make sure you pit it or get pitted ones. But I'm only gonna put one in. The strawberry should be pretty sweet. Now I'm not gonna add any water to blend this. I'm just gonna see if the lime juice was enough because it can get really runny. All right, yeah, see, we didn't need to add any water to that, and it's this gorgeous color. And then I just add a tablespoon of finely chopped fresh basil. You can leave the basil out and have this really yummy strawberry lime dressing. And my kids absolutely love this. It is beautiful and delicious. Okay, so for this next dressing, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my low-fat Thai peanut dressing. It is always a hit whenever I have company. I make this salad dressing and a big Thai salad, or anytime I'm going over to people's house and I need to bring a salad, this is the salad and dressing that I make. In the description box, I will write down everything I put in the salad itself, because I'm not gonna show you guys that today. But I keep it low-fat by using this powdered peanut butter, it has, I think it says it has 87% less fat than regular peanut butter, which is great. And I just picked this up at Walmart. All right, so I'm gonna start with about half a cup of this powdered peanut butter. Now, just for a reference, two tablespoons of regular peanut butter has 16 grams of fat and two tablespoons of this peanut butter only has two grams of fat. 
So then you just add water to this to make it into a creamy peanut butter. So you guys can see it's now like this creamy texture. So to that, I'm gonna add some low sodium soy sauce. I'm gonna add two tablespoons. And then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of rice vinegar. And then I'm gonna add the juice of half of a lime. And then I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of this coconut extract. And then to sweeten it, I'm gonna add one to two tablespoons of maple syrup. You can add as little or as much as you want. You can also use agave syrup or rice syrup, whatever you fancy. All right, so that tastes great, but as you can see, it's really watery. I don't ever use a recipe. I just wing it, so we're gonna add some more of this powdered peanut butter. But I will write down in the description box what exactly will work. And that makes a really delicious Thai peanut sauce. All right, so that is it for today. Those are the four dressings that I make all the time. Again, I will be putting the recipes for all of them in the description box below. Remember, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Plantiful Kiki and on Facebook at the Plantiful Kiki page for more lifestyle and food inspiration. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.